here in public transit, although I did hear a rumor recently that he worked in a grocery store for a while. Um, may or may not be true. Um, so long ago that I've also heard a rumor that he actually drove for a fixed guideway system. Right, it's Skyway, but he struggled to keep the mules and the trailer on the tracks at the same time. He finally figured it out, and lucky for us, uh, he continued on the public transit. Um, I don't know a ton about his history before me, so I'm going to let his son Sean tell us about his history, because I'm hearing that Mark dragged Sean's, well, we'll just say but, around the country from city to city as his career grew. So Sean? Thank you, thank you, Bob. Thank you, Opto. It's nice to see so many familiar faces today as we celebrate these amazing report recipients. I just want to say thanks again to Claudia and Opto for allowing me the opportunity to speak about an amazing man, mentor, and a personal hero of mine. For those that do not know me, my name is Sean Donaghy. I'm a proud third generation transit chief executive, former employee of the Southwest Ohio Regional Transit Authority, and former Opto board member. So it means that much more to me to be here today to be able to share this award with my father. Today, I have the distinct honor of talking to you about Mark Donaghy. I'm fortunate that I've had the privilege to know this amazing leader, both personally and professionally throughout my life. Typically, people tend to be a little different in their personal lives versus their professional. But in this unique case, my father has always carried the same integrity, honesty, passion, drive for the success of everyone under his care in the workplace, just as he has done a masterful job of with my siblings and I. From the time I was a kid, I loved to sit in a room with my father and my grandfather and hear stories about things happening in the transit world. All I ever wanted to do was sit in the, seat of a, uh, sit in the driver's seat of a bus or walk through the barn and maintenance during pullout. But more than anything, I just wanted to sit in that chair and pretend to be my father, even just for a second. Plus, I needed somewhere to wear my sky blue corduroy suit that my mother bought me. <laughs> my father worked his entire career to ensure that words like equity and opportunity are not just talking points, but action within the community for every single employee of the organizations that he has dutifully served. In 1976, he worked as a school bus driver for the Omaha Public School District and readily volunteered to drive anyone, anywhere during this desegregation of schools. He has always worked closely to ensure that every organization under his care focused its attention on critical social justice issues because he completely understood the power and benefit of diversity in communities. This passion was on full display in 2014 when the RTA and local advocacy groups won a battle against the city of Beaver Creek, who were actively discriminating against minorities and entry-level wage residents from, and making it, by making it impossible to have viable public transit support and jobs along Pentagon Boulevard. My father drove that first bus in 2014, and our family was proud to watch him drive it again on his last day of work. I've always employed my father's approach of being visible, spending time on transit platforms and engaging employees at every single level, because they are the experts of our core business, and their voice is needed to be successful. It's always a pleasure to hear stories from drivers and mechanics about how he roamed the shops, or drove buses in service when that pesky show up board was just a little bit short. Or that he stopped and listened to people who just needed a shoulder to rely on and protect the most valuable assets that we all have, our people. I've never seen anyone better than that, than my father. The Lifetime Achievement Award is just that, recognition of an amazing career and community work that spans decades, but it also represents what is yet to come, knowing exactly what our recipients have to offer, seeing their body of work right now. Congratulations, Pops. I know that Ryan, Jimmy, and especially Mom are very proud of you. Mark is a leader, an advocate, a mentor, and a friend. Now we can clap. <laughs> Bob said I could say a few words. A few is the 
<laughs> but people that know me know I'm, I'm not a man of few words. <laughs> okay, so I was going to tell you the one about the old guy and the chicken on the bus, but I'm going to, I'll save that for the bar. Uh, who knew, you know? It still feels like yesterday that I drove that bus in Omaha and uh, took those kids across town for the first time uh, with the picket signs <laughs> and the police trying to block us and uh, put everything in their way, in our way that they could uh, prevent us from delivering the kids. And we got them there and we did that for several years while I was there. And then I went on from there to work on a number of systems. Uh, this young man lived in four states in his first four years of his life. Uh, he did, we have pictures of him in 1980, sitting in a bus in Manchester, New Hampshire. Uh, and he had to, he actually locked me out of a bus. We had spent too much time in buses. I was talking to a mechanic and we heard the air, hit, the door shut and he managed to get it started. He was just too small to get it in here. <laughs> so uh, he's truly a third generation kid. But uh, of all the things I've done in the six different cities I've worked in, and uh, I, you know, I like to think I spent the best 15 years of my career in Ohio, uh, not just in Dayton, but working with all of you folks who, who give up your time to come to Columbus, you know, and make sure that things get done that we need to have done. And it's kind of a real pleasure to see a lot of new young faces that are kind of coming up, because we said for years we need to develop more people on a statewide basis, and I'm happy to see that. And transit is that, it's all about people. It's all about the people we serve. Uh, it's all about the people we work with for all these years, and the last couple of years have been so tough on everyone. It's just been amazing. So after 45, I decided to hang it up uh, and I have to say that uh, what I walk away with is friends that I've made all over this room and all over this nation. Uh, and I still look forward to seeing some of those. And I can't thank you guys enough. When I was involved in leadership at Okta, I needed everybody in Okta to step up. And Matt knows this better than anybody. If we don't do that, you know, we just don't get heard down there in Columbus. Uh, and it was a learning experience for me. For those of you who haven't done it yet, think about a leadership role in Opta because there's always a need to bring people forward and become the next generation of leaders for, for the state of Ohio. It's been great to work with people like Bob. It was great to have the feeling that I could just walk away and know that the system was gonna be great because if you people who know me, like the guy I'm looking at in the back of the room there, uh, know it's heart and soul for me. Every bus, every customer, Every dirty fucking wheel. You know? <laughs> I hate that. Shit. And they know it. And we've got good people like Chris Cole and others that I've worked with in this room. You know, they know how to put good service on the street and get the job done. I'm more than thrilled. My son happened to be visiting me. He's in between two meetings an APTA meeting and an American Bus Benchmarking Group meeting. I raised him well. He's in two of my favorite organizations, uh, which is good. So, he just happened to be coming anyway, so it, it, but it meant the world to me to have him here. He's been a great part of my life. One of the favorite points of my life was when he called me and said, hey, I just applied for a job at Metro. And I thought, wow, uh, we're gonna have the third generation, so we do now. But let me just thank each and every one of you for what you do every day. Those of you who I know and I've worked with, those of you who have put up with me for the past 15 years, uh, God bless you. And, uh, and thank you so much. And you guys are it, so pick it up, run with it. And I look forward to watching from my little retirement place. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Thank you again so much. You guys are great.